Not too much. We have been trying to get to master rank with every single character in Street Fighter 6 and since Rashid just came out as the first DLC character, we are going to start our journey with him and as we've been doing in all of the first videos for characters in Road to Master, the first half of this video is going to be a character overview slash guide. Obviously it's day one. So while it's not a full guide, it should be enough to get you and me started and we're going to go ahead and play our placement matches, try and place diamond one which is the highest you can place um, and that should kickstart our journey to master rank with Rashid. Before we get into it just a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already helps the channel out a lot and let's get into the Rashid overview. All right so if you played Rashid in Street Fighter 5 which is the first game he was in he kind of was like the protagonist in that game you know he's got a lot of his moves back he's got spinning or not spinning mixer his fireball He's got spinning mixer, the light, medium, and heavy versions, um, the EX one as well. He's got eagle spike, which is a great ender. One thing he doesn't have from Street Fighter V is his air eagle spike, but they replaced it kind of with this new uh, sort of jump, double jump move. So you can see it has a first hit and then you can follow it up with a jump in afterwards. And then the last one is kind of a new move, but also not really. It's basically this fireball move for pressure um, and also combos like you can do fierce into it and this also goes into your critical art but with this move they also combine both of Rashid's V skills from Street Fighter 5 so he can roll forward um, and out off of the heavy one he's plus one off of all the other ones he's insanely minus even the EX one um, so it's only the heavy one which you can roll and be plus like in Street Fighter 5 um, there is obviously a gap between the fierce and the and the special move, um, but you can catch your opponent off guard, roll in, and then he also has some limited version of his V skill two from Street Fighter V. If you guys remember him flying across the screen, if you press back and kick um, after this, um, he says mix up and then you know jumps forward. So. You can kind of like trick your opponent, go low, and then go high with the other one. I feel like it'll definitely catch people off guard this early, um, but it's definitely not as obnoxious as Street Fighter V, it seems like. So let's take a second and talk about his fireballs, because I feel like that's going to be a key part of his game plan. There's different arcs for them. The light one's going to go the farthest. The heavy one's kind of like if your opponent's jumping forward, it's going to actually hit them. And in this game, you can actually charge up the fireballs. And you see the big tornado next to Rashid. If you charge up the fireball, um, you have this tornado that you can use for enhanced specials. And if you use V-Trigger 1 in Street Fighter 5, you know that enhanced special moves are really good. The Eagle Spike goes super fast, minus 24 now. It used to be minus 36. All versions of Eagle Spike are minus 36. Um, you can punish them with like a walk forward uh, drive impact. Um, but when it's enhanced, I think it's relatively safe. I don't think it's completely safe to everything, but I think a lot of characters probably can't punish uh, the, the enhanced eagle spike and then it makes light spinning mixer plus two on block so you can see why your opponent wouldn't want you to get this out there because you're just in there for free obviously this is minus on regular block the regular version that means it's plus on burnout so this is a very annoying burnout string it enhances the other ones as well but those are kind of just for combos i'm pretty sure the light one is the one you use for pressure uh the ex one lets you do a dive pick after so let me show that off you can do well not the dive pick but this new special move right and i'll talk about a couple of combos with that one later when we get into the combos yeah, I think that does it for the special moves. Let's talk about the normals and I guess the basic combos that you get off of them. So obviously we'll talk about his jabs first. Uh, he's able to get three jabs like this. You can do this into the light mixer. If you do three though, you're not in throw range, but if you do two, you are. So I think generally it's probably better to 
only do two and get the mix up after. Um, or you could go into medium and then drive rush for Oki. Uh, he has two plus medium normals, his stand medium punch and his crouch medium punch. I think the crouch medium punch uh, has less pushback, um, but it's less plus on hit. So um, you can see if you're just trying to stay close, I think the crouch one is the one you want to do. But if you think it's going to hit, this one is plus five and this one is only plus four. So I feel like in general, if you're pressuring, uh, if you want to know which button to pressure with, crouch medium punch is the way to go because you can get the stand jab afterwards anyways. And it leaves you a little bit closer. But obviously, if you're trying to punish counter, this doesn't work, but this does. His main combo move uh, off of mediums is this stand medium kick, uh, which is minus on block. You can see right here, it's minus three. If you drive rush into it, it's pretty good because it's plus one and you can confirm if it hit or not. But the main thing is it goes into this target combo, which has a lot of follow-ups. And I think this is kind of like your go-to combo starter if you can get into it. Uh, if you can't get into it easily, you can do things like just go into an eagle spike, right? Heavy is going to go into medium eagle spike. Uh, crouch medium kick goes into light eagle spike. And you know, the jabs go into mixers, right? But if you can, you ideally go into this target combo, I'm pretty sure. And there's just a lot of freedom with the way this juggles. Like you can throw the fireball into your level one. If you have a lot of mirror to spare, I think it's really good to go for this thing. I forgot to, well, I didn't really get to it, but Rashid has his run back. Um, and there's two follow-ups. This move isn't an overhead, but it's just kind of for combos. And he also has a low option that side switches. I don't really know the purposes for these yet. I think this goes under fireballs, so you could kind of do that, but it's really hard to react because there's such a big startup for the run. But yeah, I think this combo is in the trials. It's going to be insanely good. You go into this, into the overhead move, into medium mixer. Look at the corner carry on it. Look at this. Like more than half screen corner carry. So that's going to be a really good uh, way to, to combo like that. Uh, in terms of your drive rush combos off of jabs, you can drive rush into a jab, but the thing about drive rushing into jab is you want to drive rush into crouch jab because that's going to be plus nine. Your stand one is only plus eight. And since your stand fierce is nine frames, you can kind of see why you would want to go into this one. But this one also works to go into this target combo move. Otherwise, off of mediums, you can just drive rush into crouch fierce like this, go into the medium store into CA, something like that. Off of crouch medium kick, I think you have to do stand medium punch, but then you can go into the same loop as before. And then I think a little bit more optimal in the corner is ending with uh, this combo, um, because you get an extra follow-up. If you play the combo trials, you'll see a couple of times where it wants you to do basically this perfect charge timing with the tornadoes. You can't hold it until the big tornado shows up, but you have to get the two hits on it. Then you can do four medium punch into the back special, and then you can go into your roll kick. And this goes into CA. If you're not trying to go into CA, I think um, you do this into heavy mixer. I believe that's optimal. And I think if you spend two meters, you do something like this. Again, I'm not completely sure, but I think these are what you want to do, at least from my limited amounts of testing so far. And at the very least, they are good starting points. Uh, he has a drive rush overhead as well, just like most characters do. Um, the main combo I've seen, you do stand medium punch into EX Tornado. And that because you get the tornado uh, like to enhance your mixer, you can do the EX into the dive kick. Um, and I'll explain um, basically the routes you want off of this. Uh, there's two main routes. You either go into light um, dive kick into heavy kick if you don't want to spend any bar, or you can go into medium dive kick into medium punch if you have meter to spend. You can go into level one or level three. That's a pretty good 
combo off of the overhead. Uh, in terms of drive impact combos, I think this one is decent enough. If you want to spend two bars, do media mixer into EX mixer. If you just want something simple, you could just do fierce into eagle spike. Uh, and then mid screen off of punish counter. Again, something simple. Stand fierce eagle spike. But if you want something a little bit harder, he has this up heavy kick spe uh, unique move. Then you do stand heavy kick. And I think medium mixer is the best thing to do. But you might get something more. Oh, maybe you can do forward medium punch into eagle spike actually. Yeah, this works. So I think that's actually the best thing to do. Uh, before we get to the supers, I've touched on them a little bit. Um, but there's a couple of other unique normals that Rashid has that are kind of new. So this forward heavy kick, I'm not really sure how good it is. On punish counter, you get stand medium punch or drive rush. So I could see you maybe drive rushing it and it goes over low attacks, I'm pretty sure it said. So you could do something like this. All right into the combo I was talking about before. Definitely gonna need a little bit more inspiration on what to use that move for though. One that you don't really need any idea what it's used for is this forward two kicks move. You can flip through your opponent and then you basically press a direction and two kicks again. Forward goes the farthest, literally goes full screen. You can do your jump in, go full screen, get your cross up, it's pretty crazy. If you do back, it's kind of like a normal jump arc. And then if you do neutral, it's a little bit farther. So Rashid's a character that's going to be moving around the screen. You can already tell it's going to be really annoying. He has a unique jump normal too. Down fierce. It jumps off the opponent's head. It doesn't seem that good um, if you just use it normally in the middle of the screen. In the corner, you can kind of see why it might be a little bit better. You can see something annoying like that, right? You go into the dive kick thing and then you do it again. Uh, one other thing, he has a wall jump. You can only go up though. In Street Fighter V, he could go down and it was really obnoxious. But in this game, it's just kind of like Chun-Li's where it's a, an escape. Uh, in terms of his supers, I, there's a lot of ways to combo into his level one, which I feel like are really good. If you combo into it grounded, like let's say you just get a drive rush combo, it goes into animation, probably a little bit more damage I would guess. Um, but there's a lot of ways to go into a non-animation. So EX Fireball, you see a hit, you just go straight into it. This combo in the corner, after this one, or after the punch special. You can also go into it. I mentioned off of the dive kick it into medium punch you can go into it as well and then also off of uh i think counter hit heavy kick anti-air you can get a nice little juggle like that also i forgot to mention but it's got a pretty cool looking air grab definitely satisfying to land tells you to kiss the ground uh, in terms of his level three it's uh it goes forward pretty far can go through fireball so you could just react to a fireball go through it otherwise you know you just do a dry rush combo into it something simple should probably be sufficient level two is going to obviously be the complicated one i'm sure you guys already knew uh, i'm gonna first turn him on block also it's chorus circle back kicks um and it basically just acts to enhance uh it's like a moving enhancer right so you can go in, enhance mixer, get a throw, use it again, get another throw. The difference between this and Street Fighter V is you could like cross up and make it a 50-50 mix up. But it's a little bit like less good because your opponent can just hold parry and I also don't think you can cross up. So I think the main use is just for the enhanced specials and trying to make them guess. And obviously if you get a shimmy you're going to get a huge combo, right? So they kind of have to take this throw, otherwise they take something like this. And then after this medium mixer you actually get level 1, so pretty crazy combos off of this. Uh, mid screen, I think you do heavy kick, 
into medium mixer, or you could probably do EX mixer actually, and then get the die picks. But you have to be close to the corner for that one. Um, and then if you just get the hit, you basically do the combo I was showing. There's a frame kill with it. It shows you in, I think, advanced combo trial number three. It's this exact combo I'm showing you guys. You do a jump frame kill. Eagle spike into the medium. And somehow this goes into level one. Crazy combos from Rashid. All right, so that's going to be it for our Rashid overview. Hopefully you guys learned enough to get started in your ranked journeys. And now we are going to get started in ours. Um, and hopefully we can do well in these placement matches. So wish me some luck. All right, we got Rashid right off the bat. And he's on modern, let's go. He definitely meant to pick classic. There's no way. Wait, what? Oh, I, I thought it was the other side. Oh. oh! Bro, go out there! Wait, what's the... Bro, I had it right. I actually don't know if that's plus. I didn't test that. He doesn't think we're gonna jump. Rashido. No. Uh -huh. Why I go for that? Mixer. Bro, this guy got like as many points as my jury. I don't know if I wish he was ready for this. Why is it so hard to input super? Bruh. There's no way. Not a thing. Now 
now that you've played Rashid a little, how do you feel about all the people who say he will throw off the competitive balance of Evo? Is he a character you're gonna be worried about playing against in brackets? I got distracted. Oh, she jeez. What? What's that hitting? Is that the Peter special? The sweep? Okay, okay. Got the diamond. I blocked that. Oh no.
Mm. I could have killed, but I forgot what to do after. I try a spinning mixer. Gotcha. I just want to hit the combo. Yeah, I can hit the combo. Uh oh. Is that only in the corner? a button. Why he press a button? Okay, now I have V Trigger 2, the ultimate move. Let's go. I could level one that actually. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Why he keep doing that? All right, so we managed to get to Diamond One with Rashid. JP was kind of a holdout right here, but Diamond One with Rashid, nineteen thousand six hundred twenty-two points. Normally, I end a little bit earlier, but with Rashid, obviously. Like people wanted me to keep playing the characters and I definitely want to keep playing the character as well. But we'll save him more for uh, another video. We'll definitely be playing him more um, this week. So stay tuned for more videos on Rashid and of course on all the other characters as we try to get to master rank with all of them. If you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. It really does help the channel out a lot and I'll see you in the next one.